What's going on, guys? This is me, a sin new format uh, match. So this is going to be Tier Laments against Tri Brigade Splite. Let's get right into it. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And Tri Brigade Splite is going to be winning the dice roll and going first with main deck Ghost Reaper, very spicy, as well as Jet Blue Fractal Revolt doesn't get any better than that. While our uh, Tier Laments friend has Albion the Shrouded Dragon, Fenrir, Scream, Super Poly, and Meru, which is also a really relatively respectable hand. However, this is actually really oppressive, so let's see how he's going to be piloting that. First things first, Fractal Effect, obviously send the uh, most likely Kit and then Nerval and then search the Keras. I think this is usually what you do in a combo. So are we going to be seeing normal? Oh, wow, not even. That's going to be a Kit. And the reason why this is weird is because if you banish two, your Elf can't really revive back a Kit so that you can use the effect again. Uh, you can also banish one, but still, he won't be able to revive back the Kit. So, usually you try to search the Keras here, just to give your elf a little more uh, flexibility and aggressiveness. Anyways, this blue can either search the carrot or the red. It really depends on what scares you the most, but uh, if you think Nibiru is not a really big thing, or like uh, Veil or whatever, then I think usually you want to search the carrot, especially since it does uh, protect you from Mystic Mine, and that's actually big. Anyway, summon the jet and then search the smashers, of course, and now he's going to be most likely making Gigantic Splite. Yes, detach, and then summon the Keras. Okay, that, so that's one way to get there. And then Elf revive back, so uh, banish, make the... Um, that's actually really interesting, by the way. He's going to be summoning Ferjit, and then linking off for Splite Sprint. You don't see that every day in the Tribrigate Splite deck. And he's going to be sending the Nimble Angler to summon Double Beaver, make the Gigantic again, double, uh, banish to, to summon the Ancient Warrior Double uh, Dragon Lords, which is very interesting. At least he does have the interruption with Sprint, so that's... Uh, one bounce, another bounce, this can revive back, nothing of value, but he can search. And then he has the Smashers and the Revolt, but you will have to clear your own board if you want to be able to use that Revolt. And right now, it might be a little hard, so yeah, good luck getting there. <laughs> he's going to probably have to, unless this, I don't think this was probably summoned. So yeah, he's going to have to like, neg himself to death if he wants to be able to use it. Anyway, summon the Fenrir on main phase one, and going to be discarding the, the other Fenrir, because he drew two. Oh wow, he top deck Fenrir for turn. Uh, fuse away the Elf as well as the Splite Sprint. And he's going to be able to make the Garura because they are all, they are both Fire Thunder. How can you be Fire Thunder though? Shouldn't you be like a light, lightning, light thunder? Anyways, so search with the Fenrir. That's going to uh, get him the third and final Fenrir. Uh, Albion effect, probably draw into High Spirits if you're good at the game. Oh, another Meru, that is awful. <laughs> Activate Scream and then Normal Summon Meru, mail 6 here, that's really cool. High likelihood of you getting a tier name. However, the Smashers will be used, oh, okay. Randomly banish the Fenrir, oh wow, okay, interesting. And he's not going to be doing anything else with the, uh, I don't think he used the effect of Double Dragon Lords, right? Anyways, mail the Hafinis, Scream, and Reino Heart, and another, oh my god, this is insane. He can get double searches and fuse with the Hafinis. Really can't lose there. And he's he still can't use the Ghost Reaper because he has way too many monsters. So that is a huge example of trying to... Sometimes you actually have to make a completely different board when you know that you have Reaper and you think you might be playing against Tier Laments because you really want to be able to use this card, but obviously against uh, this kind of situation when you're playing this deck, it's really hard to like summon less monsters. The good news for him is that he's very close to finally being, being able to use that Revolt because... He only has three, uh, two monsters occupying his zones. So I think if one of them leaves, then he can summon the Shereg. He's actually thinking here. Very interesting. Okay, yeah. So now he's going to use Double Dragon Lords to bounce back the Garura, which is also very interesting. And he's going to be chaining the Ghost Reaper to declare Kid Kalos. So that's actually very high IQ. And now he has to summon another monster with the Hafinis. He does get the Shailin, which allows him to trigger the Meru. So that's not too bad, but I'm actually shocked that he couldn't resolve the Hafinis. Oh, no, never mind. He's going to trigger the Reino Heart as well. So he didn't declare all of his chain links in one shot. Uh, or did he? Yeah, sprint one. Oh, yeah, no, he didn't. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, anyways, summon Kaleido Heart, shuffle back the gigantic and not the, not the back row. Okay, cool. Summon the Shailin, pitch the Fenrir, mail three. Oh, nothing of value. I guess the Heartbeats can recycle back the Sulik, but you already have one. So it's kind of just doing nothing. And now that Revolt can simply banish the Kaleido Heart, so I guess the game is just over. But yeah, heads up move by uh, sending his own Dragon Lords to the grave so that you could use the Reaper, because you obviously just have to have less monsters than your opponent. And I don't believe... Hold on, is he locked under something with the Revolt? He didn't use Starter. Yeah, no, I, I think he should be able to use this card. Huh. 
Am I missing something? End phase? No, okay, yeah, he just didn't really care about the damage. Okay, yeah, so he's going to revive back everything. Make the charade now. And that is going to be banishing the Kaleido Heart. And that way, I mean, because of the fact that he has double Sullic, he can pretty much assure that this uh, this goes through. But he's not going to be able to... Oh, what the heck? He's going to be banishing one of the Sullic. Oh, that is actually really bad. <laughs> he has to. Yeah, so there might be a way... That's so unfortunate. I mean, he mails uh, the crime, which can recycle back a banished tier element. So the... Uh, oh, he can recycle back a Kid Kalos. That is huge. Yeah, that is one way to play around the Ghost Reaper when you're playing Crime. So is he gonna recycle back the Kid Kalos or the uh, Reino Heart? Yeah, the Kid Kalos. Oh, very smart guy. Yeah. And he can't really... I mean, the thing is, at this point, he can use Sulik to, like, get rid of these two monsters. And he's stuck with the Shereg. But is it gonna be enough? I mean, it could be. Yeah, because you can negate... No, it negates and then shuffle... I would have, like, on the summon of Kit, negate the Shereg, and then revive back and shuffle back the Kit. I think that would have been, like, the perfect move. Because the Splite monsters are obviously not gonna be, uh, unusable. And there is nothing of value in the grave, so he definitely had the game in... Am I missing something? It, it, to me, it just sounds, like, obvious that you're winning the game if you're just, like, playing this correctly, right? But yeah, he's going to fuse into Kit Kalos, which honestly kind of just does nothing. You could go for Lulu Karos, but against, like, Jet that can search Smashers on your face, that's probably not gonna be doing anything. And... Uh, who admits defeat? Uh, Ki oh, wow, he admits defeat. Very, very interesting. Wow. Because if that um, kit could actually resolve, it would have been able to trigger the um, the charade to banish another card, and that would have been huge. Anyways, he, he goes uh, first on game two with a really broken hand, so Splite Starter, Anti-Spell, Revolt, Nibiru, and Blue against Nibiru, Instant Fusion, Super Poly, High Spirits, and Reino Heart. Ridiculously broken hand, and he can even play around Super Poly, uh, sorry, Anti-Spell, by using double quick plays on standby phase. Right now, this High Spirits is dead because Reno Heart is not a target. It has to be an Aqua monster that you're sending with the High Spirits. So that wouldn't work, but whatever. Uh, Z... Oh, he's actually losing to Nibiru with this sequencing, right? He only had Red and Gigantic. Uh, although I think it was like summon number 5. Hold on. Summon number 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Yeah, it was summon number 4, I think. So yeah, he should be fine. And yeah, now he's free to go because N Nibiru is the only hand trap. So that's the reason why I hate Nibiru. If it's your only hand trap, it literally just achieves nothing. And even if you draw, like, Nibir with a Bisted Monster, it also does nothing. So, yeah, he's going to make another useless Gigantic Splite. <laughs> Anti-Spell on standby. Ooh, draws the Perlerino. That is not good. And the High Spirits cannot be used at all. So even though he could fuse away these two with Super Poly and then jump over the red, it's still not enough to deal with the Revolt. So I think he's going to lose the game in literally two seconds. So, yeah, like I said, fuse these two away for Garura. And even if he goes, like, Battle Phase Attack over the red... Even if that, it, it, yeah, it's irrelevant. It's going to be game in like a matter of seconds. Uh, Double Cross is going to be attaching it. Wow, normal Reino Heart, use the effect. Are you going to be negating and destroy or just negate? And then either way, he draws one card as well. Okay, no, so no destroy. Draws Pancratops, which he can't use. That is not good. Sets a bunch of cards. And I think regardless of what happens here, because of the fact that Revolt gets you so much advantage... You can't lose because you're getting so many cards in the grave. You're searching a card, you're banishing a card. Shurig also it was going to be able to banish another card next turn. The Nibiru is nothing to be afraid of. The Pancratops was like the worst timing to draw this card. And now, yeah, normal summon the kit and that's going to be sealing the deal. So now we can expect to see Tier Laments going first in game three, which is very scary for Tribrigate Splite because it's, I want to say, a little worse going second, especially against Dweller. However, the deck is definitely well equipped with hand shafts. So DD Crow, Bisted Magnumut, Fenrir, Nibiru, and Starter. I swear to God, these players on DB, they stack, man. Their hands are insane. Uh, and this hand is one of the worst hands I've ever seen in my life. So Fenrir, Heartbeats, uh, Double High Spirits, and Red Cartesia. Beyond unplayable. You cannot play with this hand at all. It's very, very inconsistent. So he's going to be searching another Fenrir with Fenrir. And he's probably just going to pass turn here. He can't really do anything else. So yeah, set to... Very, very bad. I really can't see... Yeah, it's like the Fenrir can attack and then banish the Fenrir. And then... You you don't even have to do that. Like, you can literally go special summon Fenrir, search with Fenrir. And even if your opponent banishes, then you can summon your own Fenrir. And you'll be able to, like, banish, like, a, a continuous trap card, for example. But yeah, still in battle phase, activate Splite Starter, summon the red, and attack for an extra 1200. That's something that you can do, so why not? And then main phase 2, special summon the blue, search the uh, jet, most likely. And going to be searching smashers, this is going to be way, way, way too much. Man, this is re just really scary, and this is one big thing about, uh, unfortunately, the issue with uh, tier laments. 
is that it can brick now. It's a little more inconsistent. It doesn't really play the Danger Monsters anymore. It plays Rand in the High Spirits, but it does introduce some new bricks. Even though the deck has a very high ceiling, it can just draw unplayable every now and then. But yeah, so he's going to be searching the Smashers with the Jet and going to be linking off the kit as well as... It's interesting because he didn't have any BBWs before. Yeah, it's the one game where he didn't open with Fractale. Anyways, revive back the kit with the Elf and then he's going to be able to use the effect, so Banish 2. Summon the Bear Brum and then go for Splite Sprint. He can't summon any non-tiers now. And Phase Heartbeats is going to be sending the Smashers and pitch the High Spirits, so that's just really bad. Three Hand Shafts with the Fenrir, so four interruptions total. And he has the worst hand ever, so he's just going to scoop it up, show every single card. Can't win with this, he needed at least one more Tier Lament, so that he would have been able to use High Spirits on standby. Uh, play around a bunch of things except DD Crow, so actually DD Crow is just game against you. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say and showcase for this video. Let me know your thoughts about this matchup in the comment, se comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.